A live-action film version of the hit manga Akira has been in development since Warner Brothers acquired the rights in 2002. Fans have always had mixed feelings on this because a definitive film version has already existed since the late 80s. The anime, created by Katsuhiro Otomo himself, had stunning visuals, mature themes, and an epic story. Was a live-action version necessary? And could it do justice to Otomo's vision? In 2002, director Stephen Norrington and screenwriter James Robinson were attached to the film, fresh off of producing The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, although nothing came out of their involvement. Five years later, it was announced that Leonardo DiCaprio's production company, Appian Way, would produce, newcomer Rueri Robinson would direct, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt was rumored to play the lead role of Tetsuo. However, the film, scripted by Gary Whitta, would take place in New Manhattan, not New Tokyo, a westernization of the source material that angered many fans. The film was declared dead as a doornail in 2009 with Robinson's departure. But the project didn't die, and it was announced in 2010 that Book of Eli's Hughes Brothers would direct a script from Iron Man scribes Mark Fergus and Hawk Ostby. Casting rumors this time around included Zac Efron as Kaneda and Morgan Freeman as Colonel Shikishima. The project deteriorated pretty quickly though when Warner Brothers mandated that the film be PG-13, outraging many fans already lukewarm to the idea of the film. In 2011, Steve Kloves, who adapted the Harry Potter books to film, was brought on to rework the screenplay. Casting rumors now included Robert Pattinson, Andrew Garfield, and James McAvoy as Tetsuo. Michael Fassbender, Chris Pine, Justin Timberlake, and Joaquin Phoenix were all rumored for Kaneda. Japanese-American actor George Takei protested the whitewashing of the Japanese characters, resonating many frustrations fans were having with the casting rumors. Later in 2011, Albert Hughes, now solely credited as director, left the project over creative differences. Warner Brothers brought in Jomé Collette Serra as his replacement and frugally cut the movie's budget from $150 million to $90 million. In January 2012, with major budget, casting, and script issues, Warner Brothers abruptly stopped pre-production on the film. Last we heard of the Akira film was in 2015 when Daredevil showrunner Marco Ramirez was tapped to adapt a new script, renewing optimism that a live-action Akira movie might one day hit theaters. However, with so many starts and stops, fans aren't holding their breath anytime soon. Damn it! Did I bear Tetsuo? Fight with your bare hands!